Hi, my name is Lisette. I'm Amy. And welcome to Phonetic Land, the place where you can learn everything about English and phonetics. In the previous video, we established that a syllable is a unit of pronunciation that can form a word or a part of a word, that it can be divided into the onset and the rhyme, and that the rhyme can be also divided into the nucleus and the coda. Being the nucleus, the vowel of the syllable, and the only obligatory part of it, the onset, every consonant before the vowel, and the coda, every consonant after it. Knowing that, in this video, we are going to start analyzing syllables and syllables within words. So, without further ado, let's get to the lesson. Take a look at the word bread. The first thing we have to do to analyze a syllable is to write it in phonetic transcription. And that's because, as we said before, syllables are units of pronunciation, and we divide words by their pronunciation and not by the way they're written. It's leviosa, not leviosa. So, after writing the word using the phonetic alphabet, you have to look for the nucleus of the syllable, which we already know is always the vowel. Once you have identified it, you can easily localize the onset and the coda. Then, all that's left is to join the nucleus and the coda forming the rhyme and to join the onset with the rhyme to form the whole syllable. Just like a piece of cake, right? We use the same process with words that have more than one syllable. Now, let's analyze the word freedom. Following the steps we talked to you, the first thing is identifying the vowels, which in this case, they are these two. And now, do you remember what is before the vowel? Yes, exactly, the onset. The onset of this first syllable has two consonant sounds, the F and the R. And the one from the second syllable has only one consonant sound, the D. Moving on to the coda, do you notice something strange about the first syllable? Yes, there is no coda. And what about the second syllable? That one doesn't have a coda. And it's the M. Having identified every single part of the syllable, all that's left is to join the nucleus and the coda and the rhyme with the onset. And there you have your syllable structure tree for the word freedom. Now you might be thinking, why is it that this consonant belongs to the onset of the second syllable instead of the coda of the first syllable? Well, that is because of a rule called the maximal onset principle. The maximal onset principle states that the consonants that are intervocalic or in between of two vowels are maximally assigned to an onset. So, when you have a consonant between two vowels and you don't know what to do with it, then the best option would be to make it an onset instead of a coda. So, that was it for today's video. Please let us know in the comment section if you have any other questions. Take care. Hope you have a wonderful day. And see you in the next class.